Hello and welcome to A Life Like Vera. Nikki here. I thought I would do a little catch up. Um, I'm still all, all that mess in the background there is my third bake nine, which is the caped evening dress. And I have decided to make a toile first, um, but I'm only going to do the, 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 the cape sort of sleeves and um, sort of down to about the hips so I can get the, the, the waist right and the way it hangs right. First, before I cut my fabric, which is this. My dog's being a terror. Ernie, that is at the moment so um he's barking every time the washing machine makes a noise because i'm washing fabric because yes i have been very naughty again i know i'm not supposed to but i have <laughs> here we go nice nice drape oh look there we go look that's the sun shining on it so it's got a bit of a a sheen it's sort of got that grayness about it if you do that it's got a grayness about it but if you do that you can see how rich it is as well so that is the intended fabric as i say i don't want to start cutting into it until i've done that little twirl sorry i'm a bit chaotic with my um planning aren't i anyway that is the fabric for the dress and all that rubbish behind is twirl and yeah so i want to get that twirl finished this weekend i am really naughty and i am really sorry i shouldn't be buying any more fabric i don't know why i'm saying sorry because it's me that's you stupid one <sighs> i've brought more fabric i can't help it Economy Fabrics have got a Facebook page and every time they put something up, I'm like, oh no, don't do this, don't do this to me. So uh, I'm just going to show you the fabric. I want more trousers. I have got some burgundy trousers that I wear for work, wide leg, but I wanted some in a nice... If you can, see, can you see this? Oh God, it's not very good. It's a herring, herringbone. Ah, there you go, look. There, a really nice herringbone. And I wanted some for, not for work. So I want to make a really nice pair of wide leg trousers out of this. Um, that was, I think it was three pounds a metre. And I think I have got, oh goodness me, two, two and a half metres. Yeah, two and a half metres. And that's been washed and ready to go. <laughs> Um, also, uh, right, I sort of say I don't wear tiki style fabric, but I, 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 I do, I'm just very, very particular and specific, but I saw this fabric and it just went by me. It's being washed, it's being pressed. I may just make some stuff up and sell it. I don't know. How pretty is this though? Look, look at that. That's a viscous and it's got a beautiful, beautiful drape on it. You know, it's it's like one of those things you think in the summer, I can make such a lovely dress out of that. I'd never wear it. It's it's I don't think I would wear it anyway, but I I've got some really lovely patterns and I really want to have a go at making them up in this fabric because I really think that um it would look lovely and um, whether or not I choose to wear it is another matter if I don't I could sell it on so you know what no harm done that's the beauty of sewing I like to make things even if I think oh I'm not going to make them but you know I'm really tempted by the pattern I'll make them and um so stretch again really navy you can see it in the the light there from the window navy stretch I'm going to make a Breton just a simple, plain, you know, Breton style neck out of that one. And I've got some black as well. Um, and I've got quite a bit there. But I've ordered a kids, some kids patterns. Let me see if I can find them. They're really, really sweet for my granddaughters. Here you go. Here you go. So, uh, those 
not quite they won't be as quite bell bottomy as those but they love for some reason they keep wearing this sort of style so for trousers like that and then i got this little sweatshirt i mean this is done in fleecy fabrics but it said stretch and it's french terry that sort of thing so it's just like a little and these were reduced these were from minerva and they were half price i think i paid six pounds for them so i just want to make a really nice little tracksuit for my granddaughter obviously i want to make a little black top for myself and i'm making one for my friend and i am going to put and i hope i haven't lost it uh let me find it oh uh, there it is so i am going to put that little plique on my friend's top there's enough there to make i think my daughter would probably want something as well so there's enough there to make stuff stash diving i forgot about this fabric i don't know what it is to be fair it's really thin um i'm not brilliant at fabrics anyway it's got like little butterflies and sort of moths on it and it's green and i thought oh that's quite nice um and and some blue i don't know if you can see that see the blue and the coral and the green i just thought it was really nice and i thought that maybe i could make a little blouse from that hmm yeah um also i went to uh lady McElroy to get my mother of the groom fabric i'd seen this i'd seen this fabric um i looked online first of all and i said like i might be interested they said you know if there's any particularly interesting we'll get them out for you i did ask if i could film in there and they said no because it's more of a warehouse not a shop fair enough uh i saw one it's called beauty and the bee and it's really nice and i thought oh it might be a bit too in your face for a wedding but when i got there it's like oh my god this fabric is gorgeous um i don't think i'm going to make something for the wedding but i think i'm going to make something for not the wedding for something else but oh, honestly i am a liability uh so here we go although i met someone today actually who said to me you know what when you get to a certain age you're just like life's too short just and if you can afford it get it and do it so i am uh yeah so here it is <laughs> I've, I've washed this as well and i've pressed it i've just got to find the middle before it all comes undone and I've only got a, a metre of this. This is a, this is a viscose. This is gorgeous. This is. Um, and it's really drapey. Oh, let me find a drapey bit. Right. Let's turn it round. And then you can see. So. Shock horror. Oh, my goodness. It's really wide as well, actually. Oh, look. I'm going to fold it up again. I can't be bothered to faff around with it. Okay. Here we go. This is Beauty and the Bee. And this is really drapey. And I thought in the summer, see how floopy it is. My favourite word. In the summer, I am going to make a little sleeveless, maybe little cappy sleeve type. I don't know. Top from it. And... Uh, you know what? Maybe a cowl, a little bit of a cowl. That would be quite sweet. A little bit of a cowl neck. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, let me just move this back and tip it down a bit. Sorry. So maybe a little bit of a cowl. That's really nice. I like that. It, it's a fun fun top for the summer and you could team it up with really nice linen trousers like wide leg linen trousers my signature trouser in like the greens picking out the different colors so you've got all the greens you've got that lovely orange or even just black 
um, but yeah you've got so many colours you can play with there as well that lovely colour there Look. and then so I thought oh yeah that's nice I'll get that yeah lovely <laughs> then he showed me a photo of someone in an awards ceremony in Spain who'd had a suit made out of the it's like a velour right fabric he said i'm sure he said it was vela velour but um i'm not sure yeah and i thought oh yes i'll make myself a jacket out of that nice kimono jacket yeah right that'll be great for the wedding oh for goodness sakes no it's not suitable for the wedding but i still brought the fabric anyway look at that it is beautiful i don't know if you, you can't quite get the the sheen yes yeah, see there like that sheen i don't know where i'm gonna wear it i'm not going to any awards ceremonies or anything like that but you know what again i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make a kimono style jacket when i don't know but you know hey ho <sighs> so that's that and then i thought you know what nicola there was another fabric that caught my eye and it's called Mar Marabou Mosaic. And I'd seen this one online as well. And actually a friend of mine said it would make a really nice pack moo. I don't know if I've said that properly. So let's get back to this fabric. So this is called Marabou Mosaic. And it's on like a... I wouldn't say it's navy, it's more of an Air Force blue. Sorry, it's going to be upside down. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And the idea, and don't hold me to it, is... So I want to make a really light, again, another kimono style jacket with this, I think. Definitely. That's one of the things I want to make. But try and get one of them... The, the marabous across the shoulders and do a bit of beading on it and then a bit of beading at the cuff so just and I, i'll line it so it is quite um a lightweight fabric but for summer uh, august wedding summer i thought you know what that'll be great and i do want to do a little bit of beading that is definitely going to be a kimono style jacket I have got three and a half metres, so I've got quite a bit there. I still can't make out because I'm thinking, shall I pick out one of the other colours and make like um, a tea dress? Or make a matching blouse to go underneath and some nice, buy some fabric to make a nice pair of wide leg trousers. I don't know. I'm even, I keep looking at quilting and stuff as well. I even thought maybe I could do like a marabou and make a big bag, like a quilted bag or something. But you know what? I think my mind's eye gets runs away with me sometimes. So maybe, yeah, I might be. I might not be able to do that. But you know, I'll give anything a go once. So yeah, that was my little trip to Lady McElroy and my little fabric purchases again very naughty and i'm not really i'm not showing you a lot that i've made because i haven't made a lot because i've just been buying the fabric and not making it so i do need to make it i do need to make it but i have got this event at the end of march i'm really looking forward to it um there's a bit of conversation going on with a group of friends that you know we're meeting there me and my mate lydia and um we we're going to sit for dinner with each other and we're planning outfits and all that sort of thing so it's really exciting talking about planning outfits i went to lady peacock vintage today and there was a vintage dress in there in a bigger size with beautiful diamante here in a teal now i have just washed it no i haven't put it in a washing machine i've hand washed soaked and it's now hanging so i can't show it to you it has its original belt as well and it's absolutely beautiful and it fit brilliantly and it's nice and long so that is going to be my friday night dress because i was going to make one but i don't think i'm going to get time and i really want to concentrate on this evening gown it's hanging on the line now i'm, I'm hoping that none of the beadwork or anything the diamantes and all that have have gone missing um but, you know you take that chance with vintage it's got a little few little bits i need to um alter on it and the shoulder pads were 
yeah they they're completely destroyed so i'm going to use this as a pattern and just um yeah just copy this and make some more shoulder pads i might make them bigger Pop, proper sh statement shoulders but yeah they, they've had it so i'm going to do those there's a couple of little um little holes and a little bit of a seam that's come undone so i'm going to do that um there's a little bit of fade on it as well but it's 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 vintage you know this dress is like 1940s dress it's like 80 years old it, you know what it, it's done well um and yeah it is really lovely and it's the color is amazing so i'm going to wear that on a friday night as long as when it's dried i haven't destroyed it by washing it i don't think i have i've been really careful i've tried to be really careful anyway right crochet my hat that one the pom-pom hat um this was my first one and i've uh done another couple of test crochets which keep promising that i'm going to do the pattern and i haven't done that that's my second one so i did this in some other yarn that i had that's got the there you go little pom-poms on it so i think they need sort of just holding down there but let's see if this one if i can show you so there you go it's not really my color this one so yeah that's the little pom-pom one and i have finished it again in the blue because i like the blue and um i've got enough fabric to make a matching bag which i'm going to do so this is this is the blue uh and that'll have pom-poms on it as well so that is the pattern's done so the pattern is that's i've done it three times now so i'm happy with that anyway i'm going to go and try and actually sew some stuff so sorry about my chaotic little um vlog and apologies that i haven't shared any sewing but hopefully in a couple of weeks time you will see a finished evening gown fingers crossed thanks for watching and don't forget to ring the bell subscribe like leave a comment if you like but be kind and i'll see you soon